field because Galindo Sanchez and Zaguinho are getting very few touches. 20 minutes left to go here in the first half. Nacho Ambris deflecting it. Pushed back by Basualdo. Back to Ambris. Ramoncito launching it long. Here's Zage up the line. Typical Mejia Baron type buildup. Up and back. And Zage draws another foul. Whistle starting to go against the Albi Celestes. They're eighth against ten against Mexico. Well, they won't mind that that much near midfield. Here's Patino gets around Batistuta. Gutierrez on the overlap earns a corner kick. This is the 36th edition of the Copa America. Many people were wondering as they finally opened up the competition to teams outside of South America. Unlike Europe, again, you have to consider in Conmebol only 10 teams, so gets to be very much a family affair after 70 or 80 years. Launched to the back post, cleared away Ruggeri briefly, and then gets some help to get it out of the danger zone. Regrouped by Juan Ramirez. And off to the flank. Many wondered how the CONCACAF teams would do. Here's Zage. Deflected Garcia Aspe. And eventually, looked like it was off an Argentine boot, but Resende says goal kick. The U.S. Work. didn't embarrass themselves. Mexico obviously proving they should be here. And just again, if viewers want to know how far the U.S. have come, just take a look at the roster from 1993 in that Copa America. I think there were two or three players that were actually identified with clubs. The rest were just U.S. soccer. The evolution continues. But again, in 1995, when we'll have another retrospective on that, the U.S. Even more successful making it to the semifinals. And you started to sense that golden generation take root. A lot more pro sides there. And after 95, and of course, the 94 World Cup, even more. Ball blasted in front for Batistuta. He is so dangerous. Reached around, almost got a boot on it. Deflected wide. And there's Ramon Ramirez, Mr. Mexico, cutting back. Juan Ramirez pushing forward. Argentina gets it back. Redondo switches for Batistuta and he is offside. Well, he was marked well on the play before by Suarez in there. Decent ball in to Batistuta, but Suarez was right on him. This is the next play, the offside decision. Batistuta actually grew up. Uh, Initially playing basketball, and then when he saw Kempis play, that was all it took. Devoted the rest of his life to football, and what a life it has been for him. Ball rolled through for Batistuta, player down. Resende says, play on. Here's Ramirez inside for Nacho. Ambre switches. Argentina looking to defend their crown and also move atop the overall hall. Currently tied with their other arch rival, Uruguay. Beautiful quality. Gorosito really had a beautiful first half for Argentina. Everything he was doing was correct. Heading towards the 30th minute, ball in front for Campos, no problem. Good work by Mexico to get out of the back. Here's where it seems to slow down a bit. Kind of ironically, that's where Simeone and Redondo start to step up. Garcia Aspe, Ambris, lifting it over Gorosito, Ramirez. Sanchez, Ramon Ramirez to the middle, blasts it across. He'll get a corner for his efforts as it deflects off Zapata. Well, the space for Mexico was really on that far side in the first half. It, that time exploited again earlier. It was Zagi working down there. This time it ends up Ramon Ramirez showing how effective he really was as a two-way player.
Shot doesn't quite reach the target. Mexico gets the deflection again. Ambris. Nice ball as he whips it across. Almost dipped in. Nacho Ambris just missing out. Inside out. Good strike that time by Nacho. Of course, his face familiar today is the assistant to Javier Aguirre. Look at this again, Phil. A little bit of an opening that time. Defender actually backed up just enough for Ambris to get that shot away. Trip from behind. Ramon Ramirez getting a helping hand. Rosito and Zapata linking up on that right side. I'm a little bit surprised that Mexico has not been a little bit more successful coming down their right side. Simeone Redondo leaning more to the middle. Well, it's only this man, Altimirano, controlling the left flank, and Mexico has not gone at him. Gorosito again. Headed up by Ruggieri. Was it deflected? Ramon Ramirez challenging enough. Zapata trying to talk his team. The dentist. As you could say, he's filled the holes on this Mexican side. Well, you could. Probably shouldn't. Nacho again. Ramirez to flex forward, slips through on the overlap. Galindo, Galindo to Sanchez, slips across to Patino. Patino went for the near post. You could see that frustrated leap in the middle by Zage. A touch too selfish from the midfielder. But a good counter by El Tri on this play. They move forward very quickly. One of the few times they really got. The Argentine defenders a little bit off balance in terms of tracking back. Again, the basis of terrific defending when you think about it. Argentina gave up very few goals, and Mexico as well was so solid defensively in the tournament. This is the third time the tournament's been held in Ecuador. Argentina won the first way back in 1947. In 59, the team that they're currently tied with in the overall championship hall, Uruguay, victorious. So Uruguay watching as Argentina looks for their fourth. Good work that time by Garcia. Zapata infringing. Galindo will wait. Nacho comes over. He's got a good shot. And Galindo will leave it for him. Instead, actually stepping in was Garcia Aspe with that powerful left. Deflects away. Batistuta. Underrated part of his game is helping out on the defensive side. Garcia Aspe came in. And he leaves a mark. The yellow card already out. There's Nostio Resende pulling out yellow for the second time. Garcia Aspe joins the Argentine Basualdo in the book. Of course, for Alberto Garcia Aspe, it is not an unfamiliar place to be in the yellow card column. 1991, the last Copa America as Argentina outlasted Brazil 3-2 in the final in Chile had to meet a little bit earlier in this tournament thanks to Sergio Goicochea Argentina victorious again Ooh, that could look like it could have been a two-cleated challenge from Gorosito but 
And I'm not sure he's going in. It looks like he's just going in to try to block the ball. Here's Badistuta. There's Campos. And Suarez clears long. Only a player as quick as Campos could break up that play. Batistuta was there. It was all but the final touch for a goal for Argentina. And Campos, again, is so quick, Phil. On the break. Galindo through. Sanchez. Bumped off the ball at the last moment by Ruggeri. And no sympathy from the referee or the crowd. For a challenge by Ruggeri.